Welcome back everyone. Uh, this is the final part of uh, data retrieval session. In this we are going to discuss subsystem data retrieval or group data retrieval. So PSSC API also give you a facility to retrieve data in bulk. So when I say data in bulk or data in the form of subsystem. So basically what you can do is you can retrieve the data from PSSC uh, for instance bus data branch data, generator data uh, in the form of uh, subsystem or in the form of group. So area wise. So if you want uh, to know uh, what is the voltages of all the buses within a particular area or particular owner or particular zone, you can do that. So if you want to do this kind of analysis rather than doing uh, element by element analysis, you need to go with the subsystem data retrieval routines. So these are divided by elements as I told you before. So you have uh, routines for buses, routine for plants, routine for machines, routine for load, routine for shunts, routine for branches, routine. So all this uh, and these all APIs are divided into group of families. So when I uh, say a group of family, I mean by this, for instance, if you have branch, so a branch is going to have a family of or a group of APIs. So these APIs will range from getting the total number of buses in a particular subsystem to all the way to the different character values, integer values, complex values, real values. So what is a real value? Real value in this case is just the KB or per unit. This is a real value uh, or the uh, complex value. For instance, uh, machine megawatt megawatt uh, in form of a complex number. This is a complex value character data. For instance, uh, generator ID or branch ID. This is a character data. Branch name is a character data. So these kind of things are in a form of set. So moving on. For each uh, element, you are going to find six kind of uh, routines. So these will be count routine, which is going to give you the total number. Similarly, int, which is going to give you the integer values. Anything which has an integer value associated with it, it is surely going to be available within the int sub uh, int subroutine. Similarly, if uh, any element has a real value, it is going to be in the real subroutine. Then complex, car and types. Uh, so all the different type of data types are there. You can find them. And how do you read these uh, APIs? This is uh, uh, I have taken the snapshot of a bus int. So within a bus int, if you will see the command of an a bus int API is error, then the array. So this array is going to uh, give you the values of all the number of buses within that particular subsystem and a bus int is the name of the api itself you need to include psspy with it and then sid sid is basically the subsystem number so if you want to get the data for the whole system you need to use minus one the value should be less than zero otherwise you need to def uh, you need to define a subsystem and hopefully in the future sessions we will see how we can define a subsystem for now, we will use minus one so that we include the entire case, entire base case for calculating the subsystem. Then there are going to be some flags. These flags identify what kind of data you are looking for. For instance, in case of bus int, uh, uh, the flag, you have two flags, one and two. One means only in service buses or all buses. So you are performing the analysis so surely you you would want to see what is the bus voltages on the in service uh, buses uh, what would you do with the out of uh, service bus so basically this way uh, i mean you can use or otherwise if you are creating a new bus so you would surely want to know is uh, the particular bus number which i'm about to use available or not uh, so in, in that case, maybe you will have to use all buses. So depending then the string string is again the keyword. This keyword is going to tell you what kind of data you are looking for. So if you are integer type data is the bus number itself, the type, uh, for instance, you want to know how, uh, what kind of uh, what type of buses are there within your system. How many buses are the generator buses? How many buses are the swing buses? 
uh, you can use the type then what is the area number of each bus what is the zone number of each bus what is the owner number of each bus so this way by giving a specific uh, type you can get the value uh, for each one so this is how uh, you basically read the api now we will move on to the next part or the demonstration part let's see how we can retrieve the data for retrieving the data uh, i have selected the branch so because branch is a bit complex because branch contains three elements the to bus the from bus and the circuit id so what we are going to do is we are going to cal uh, identify all the buses um, uh, all the branches which are there and for all the branches we are going to calculate the flow the power flow we are going to retrieve the power flow of each branch so let us continue with this so now uh, as we know we need error and what i'm going to do here is i'm going to start with the bracket i'm going to tell you why i am doing this uh, because uh, this uh, uh, within the array array is an array of an array uh, within this uh, subsystem data retrieval so instead of getting an array within an array i want to get only single array so how can i get a single array within uh, 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 within my uh, api by using this bracket and a comma so what i need here is two bus so and a comma so that i just take out of array of an array just the array the array which contains two bus is equal to psspy dot a flow int and then i'm going to pass the arguments for instance minus one is for sid then there are different flags so uh, the flag is going to be for uh, what i want to in uh, in service branches and then uh, do i want it for the uh, internal buses only or i want to consider the tie lines as well so these kind of things so uh, i give all these errors you can by the way you can find uh, find them in your api uh, when you check the api document you will surely see what kind of flags are there so and to number so once i close this and press enter so if i say two bus now so these are the list of buses which are with the two bus number similarly i need the other end of these buses so what i am going to do is i am going to use the same command but instead of two bus now i will be calculating from bus uh, by the way by pressing uh, up or down key you can iterate between the different commands which you have already used so my command is same so now instead of two bus i have to use from bus so once i press enter now from bus will contain the list of the from buses and i need the circuit id as well so for circuit id i need to use a different command so in this case number one this is circuit id so let's give it the name ckt id and because circuit id is an alphanumeric value it will be available within the char because it's a character so it is going to be in char rather than int and here i am going to use the id which is the keyword for getting the id of a particular circuit and once i press enter and if i do ckt id i should get all the ids so for these are the buses within the whole system because i was using minus one all the in service branches within my save nw case are available here so now what i'm going to do is i am going to uh, create a combination of each transmission line so how i can create the combination i can use branches this is the name of my new variable and what i am saying is zip create a combination of two bus from bus and ckt id so once i do that i press enter if i do branches now see so now instead of separate 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 three list i have a combination of list which contains each element is a combination of a tuple so anything within a 
राउंड ब्रैकेट इज अ टपल विद इन दिस टपल वट आई हैव आई हैव माई फ्रॉम टू बस नंबर From bus number and circuit ID. So this is going basically telling me how many branches I have uh, within my system. So how I can iterate between the branches? I can use for command. So for branch in branches, my branch variable will contain one element at a time of each branch. So what I need to calculate is the flow on each line. So what I can do is error. comma p flow for power flow so what i am going to give is pssby dot now here i am using single element data retrieval so i have all the branches so element by element i am going to iterate through the branch and get the power flow of that particular branch uh, and then i can use the command so for this prn flow is the command or the sent uh, uh, which is used for this purpose so i need to give uh, to bus from bus and circuit id so within branch my first index value this is index value 0 index value 1 and index value 2 and for the second index this is index value 0 index value 1 index value 2 so index value 1 is from bus then branch index value 1 is the from bus and branch index value 2 is the circuit id and then what i can do is let's print from bus to bus circuit id and power flow so once i press enter i should iterate through each branch and get the power flow of that particular branch so see so all the branches the power flow has come since the power flow is in the form of complex so the first value within this is the megawatt and the uh, imaginary value is the megawatt so what you can do is i already told you how you can create an empty list and append these value in the list so you can do the same thing and create a new list which contains your uh, branch number as well as the megawatt and Uh, megawatt and megawatt values so this way uh, you can use the combination of uh, single element data retrieval and subsystem data retrieval to get uh, the results from the pssc